Hello and a warm welcome to this English edition of Bitwig Practice Session. In this episode, I want to talk about pitchbent versus MPE. MPE is a MIDI polyphonic expression and means that you can change the tempo of your sound while playing if the instrument, the VST, is capable to um, understand MPE and if you have a MPE controller. But there are ways to use a standard MIDI controller to yeah, um, use such possibilities of MPE-ish playing but uh, yeah and how that works I'm gonna show you let's get started so you have a, a standard MIDI controller with a pitch bend wheel and a mod wheel normally or a touch strip or just a pitch bend uh, wheel or like a, a joystick and normally I will, I will use a polymer synthesizer with a sawtooth and I don't need the remote controls. So normally the mod wheel is connected to this vibrato, uh, but I don't need this um, vibrato right now. So I disconnect it to manual and change it to like starting uh, after one second and it needs one second to get the full vibrato and I don't want the full vibrato just a little bit and a little bit slower so I when I press a key I get this and I think this is enough so I freed my uh, mod wheel right now. I have a joystick here and this joystick uh, is giving some sound as you can hear. <laughs> so you can hear when I when I move this joystick or the mod wheel or the pitch bend wheel. So now um, first I take a macro knob and put this macro knob over here and put it to that it is capable to go in the positive direction and the negative direction. And this macro knob I assign to my pitch bend. So, but at the moment, pitch bend uh, is uh, still connected to pitch bend. Uh, it isn't because I already. Oh, it should. That's strange. Ah, as soon as I connect it to another controller key, it stops. But if it's um, it's still connected, you have to switch off it to switch it off here in the track in the inspector. So now you can be sure it doesn't change the pitch bend. So I have this um, <laughs> knob now assigned to the pitch bend, but I want to use different effects when I go a different effect when I go to the right side or to the left side or if you've got a, a pitch bend wheel uh, to the front and to the back. So I just uh, name this um, pitch bend deflector roll and use another macro and another macro and another macro. Let me just, okay. This will be assigned to the mod wheel. Oops. So, and now I want to modulate if I go to the right side or to the front, forward, this knob. So I can control with forward one knob and um, this knob I We'll assign it to the filter, a little bit to the filter resonance. Then I shorten the attack a little bit and the sustain. And configure the decay a little bit longer, like that. Okay, so now I assigned all these and if I 
move my <laughs> pitch bend to the right or to the front, all these parameter changes. So, and if I um, put it to the right, move it to the right, I need to configure that as well. So um, it goes to negative. So I modulate this to the negative and every time I move my pitch bend to backwards or in my case to the left, the knob goes, turns in the right direction, how I want, how I want that. So in this case, I assign the um, this knob to the sync button, like 24 half tones, steps, 24-ish steps. Okay, let's just dial it in here, 24, and Okay, now I've uh, set two effects on the pitch bend wheel and I still have the modulation wheel left over. Um, so with the modulation wheel, I assign this to the modulation wheel, this micro knob, and um, I switch on some noise, maybe a little bit the sub down. That's why. So escape and I'm out of the modulation. But I forgot something. So I touch this a little bit so that I get the plus sign. I click the plus sign and now I modulate this like 0.12. That's okay, I think. Oh, maybe not okay. Some more. No, that's okay. So I detune. I detune um, the left and the this oscillator, the left and the right side. So left side is a little bit lower, right side is a little bit higher, I think. And uh, so you get this like more stereo effect. Okay, and as well, I. Uh, modulate a longer attack and a longer release with the modulation wheel. A bit longer release. So escape, I'm out of the modulation. So with my two wheels, pitch bend and mod wheel, I can already play a little bit expressive or with my joystick. So, and to make it a little bit nicer sound wise i add a reverb in the effect channel in the bus in the effect bus and for the reverb first i add a chorus because our reverb should sound nice chorus the um, low pass filter under one kilohertz LFO mount full and a little bit slower and I think, no, I don't, don't know. So now I take the reverb completely on. I have the late remix of 
on two seconds, room 50%, diffusion and build up, then the resonators down so it doesn't add up, it subtracts. Maybe I put a longer reverb in it, like eight seconds or something. Uh, and I can put in a delay too as well, so we can get wonderful long reverbs. So with 50% mix and no detune. Okay, so now we can dial in this chorus reverb. With a wonderful reverb, but sound a little bit maybe a little bit louder. Sorry. Perfect. But I want to add the uh, modulation wheel to control the reverb here. Oh, that's, I wanted to name that to reverb because that looks nicer. Okay, to do that, um, you can't add a modulator that says, okay, now um, um, increase the, the reverb here. So you need an instrument layer. and put this polymer into the instrument layer. And in the modulator section of the instrument player, you take another micro knob, and then you click on the polymer here, activate the modulation arrow, and now you can modulate the reverb here. Now, and this, no, this uh, knob I map to my modulation wheel. So every time I use the modulation wheel, it opens up the reverb and I put it back. The reverb just um, goes on a little bit too loud here <laughs> and I can play without a reverb. like that. So that was the quick tour and uh, sure you can you can map a lot of other things to um, this um, to those knobs and to those wheels. Uh, sure it's not a it's not an MPE controller like you can um, wobble on the keys. For example I, I still have aftertouch here and I could um, just add another macro knob. Uh, no, not another Magronop, sorry. I used the, the expression, the pressure here. And for example, I take out the sub a little bit and uh, increase the high pass filter a little bit. So on every time escape, every time I press a key, I remove the sub and the lower frequencies.
click on that so you can see all knobs. That's funny, normally I thought you should see... Ah, okay, that's why. see it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't show. It just shows the initial, but not the aftertouch. That's it. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, um, yeah, leave me a comment. So I know maybe you're interested to um, see some more um, tutorials uh, in English. Mostly I do tutorials in German. But um, if you're interested, I can sometimes just do, uh, when I create new tutorials, I do it just twice. Once in German, one in English. And yeah, leave me a comment. Um, Give me a thumbs up and hope to see you soon and um, stay healthy and see you. Bye bye.